Merchants, if you are using the Magento Commerce platform, in other words, the paid edition of Magento, I have some exciting news for you. Magento just released the product recommendations platform. I want to talk about how to implement this on your website. One of the biggest things that I commonly see on merchants' websites is that they don't utilize product recommendations or cross sells, upsells and related products as possible like they should be. One of the biggest reasons for that is it takes so much time to curate these upsells and related products, for example, for each individual product. So Com Magento Commerce, it does have this feature where you can automate some of that called related product rules, but it still is not necessarily ideal. So the idea with machine learning is that you can take in data from a whole bunch of inputs based off of users activity. What are they most likely to purchase with this information that is known about each individual user? That's what gets me excited about this because it takes a lot of this guesswork away from a merchant, if you desire that. Uh, and instead it brings in this, this power of mathematical algorithms to be able to help automate this process. Now, just to be clear, it's not a replacement for upsells or related products. You can still have control over all of that. But instead what this does is it actually adds a new section similar to upsells related products. A new section whereby you can present more products. And the way it looks is something like this. So I am on my the Magento Demo Luma store and I look at this shirt here it looks nice. Um, but let's say I just clicked into this from search results and I am browsing here and I'm just like, what other products would be available? If we have the related products, this is the typical Magento related products. Um, you can click into each one of these, get more information here, found other products that you might like. Um, but this is these sections right here, these two are powered by machine learning Adobe Sensei. They are looking and seeing how are people browsing the website, how are people actually utilizing these products, viewing and ultimately purchasing this product. So it's taking a whole bunch of data and then presenting it to you in this way. So I said it'd be a really quick tutorial. I have put a whole bunch more information over in an article on actionable insights uh, .fm, actionable insights .fm. Go to the top and click on articles up there. Uh, basically what you're going to need to do is you're going to come into stores configuration, uh, stores uh, configuration right here, come down to uh, services, Magento services, um, you're going to add in some API keys. And I show in this example how to configure the, create these API keys. I go through screenshots, where to click, that sort of thing. So that's really easy. I'm not showing them to you because I don't think that they're necessarily public information, public domain. Uh, but anyways, and you're going to go configure SaaS environment. It's basically just creating some names for this. Again, really easy. Then the hardest part of this whole thing is you come into marketing and go to product recommendations. Product recommendations, you create a new recommendation and you have some options here. Again, I go through each one of these options, what it does, uh, where it affects, but the biggest thing to note is these two selections right here. So the, uh, well, actually uh, three. So we have our uh, the page type, we have our homepage category. You, it's pretty easy to figure out where this is. Uh, for example, the confirmation, I'm really happy to see this. This is such an underutilized area of Magento. There's some great modules out there that help resolve this, but the confirmation page is you have your customer's attention. You just made some money off of them. Now you need to continue this journey. And so creating relevant product recommendations there can be super helpful. So use this confirmation page. Uh, very, very uh, helpful there. Um, and then you can say what type of recommendations do you want? And all of these are have their unique aspects to them. If you wanted to get something uh, up right now, uh, let's see here, the product detail page, um, more like this, is uses very little machine learning in order to start showing products. So um, again, a lot of power in what different recommendation types are available, but um, you also have the placement. In the product page, you only have at the bottom of main content. It wouldn't make sense to, you know, have product recommendations up here right at the very top. But uh, you can, the bottom or top of main content. So you could put that on the home page, for example. So. I see a lot of uh, functionality coming out of this. For example, uh, this is populated on a each product page via a web request directly to api.magento.com, if I remember correctly. And so ultimately, there's nothing saying that I have seen that you couldn't wrap that in funct other functionality uh, and 
other than, you know, maybe if there's some cookies and that sort of thing that would be set, but you might be also you be able to leverage that in, for example, the sales emails, the order transaction emails, be able to continue that customer journey in other transactional emails that you send. Hey, here's some other uh, products that you might be interested in. So I think this is an incredible foundation, incredible starting point for this type of a system. And I look forward to seeing here in the future how this is going to impact commerce in general across the Magento Commerce platform, because I really think it will. And I'm excited to see that take, take shape uh, as we go into the future.